Hi, and welcome to Coffee with Katie. Coffee with Katie is an initiative that I started to help simplify the financial conversation. I'm Katie Brown. I'm a certified financial planner and chartered financial consultant, and I've had the privilege of serving families for nearly 20 years navigate their financial landscape. Today, I wanna talk about insurance and specifically life insurance. And I'd like to share with you the four primary reasons that I typically see families incorporating life insurance into their financial plan. The first two reasons, in my opinion, are necessary reasons. The final two are really more of a personal preference. So kind of the needs versus wants. So in the need category, the two primary reasons are for income replacement or for liquidity purposes. So in income replacement, if you don't have a paycheck coming in, the life insurance then can help replace that paycheck for your surviving spouse or children. Oftentimes we'll hear rules of thumb as far as how much insurance you need. The most common one that I hear is 10 times income. Now rules of thumb don't always fit every situation. So I always recommend that you do a deeper dive into the financial plan to find the best recommendation for you and your family. But to give you just an idea of an amount, it's not too bad to go back and think through the math of if you're making $100,000, for instance, then you might need a million dollars of life insurance, roughly. Just gives you an idea. And, and something to note too, only 54% of adults in America have life insurance. I'm a big believer that not everybody needs life insurance. However, it's probably more than 54%. Actually, I'm going to say it is more than 54%. And of the people that do have insurance, almost a third or about 27% only have group coverage through their employer. Typically, that group coverage amount is not nearly enough. You might have 50,000 or maybe 100,000 or one time salary is pretty common. But once again, that's one time salary, not 10 times salary. You'll probably need additional insurance coverage beyond that. So that's the income replacement side. For liquidity purposes, you might have a very strong balance sheet, but if all of your assets are tied up in things that you can't quickly convert to cash, such as real estate, you may have multiple real estate holdings, investment real estate that needs support through a cash infusion, or you might have a significant amount of debt on your balance sheet too. And so to have life insurance in place to provide that cash infusion, if you need it to keep everything else kind of afloat, on the balance sheet and within the family is another necessary reason, in my opinion, to pursue life insurance. The other two reasons that I had mentioned that you may want to have additional life insurance in place for estate tax offset. Right now, under current federal laws, you can transfer over $11.5 million to whomever you want tax-free under the federal law. Your state laws may be different from that. Each state kind of has their own system in place. Some of them assess an estate tax. Some of them assess an inheritance tax. So here in Pennsylvania, we have an inheritance tax. So if my husband and I were to pass away and leave our assets to our children, there'd be a 4.5% tax assessed to those assets. And so we may want to have life insurance in place to offset mm -hmm. that tax. Or if our estate is bumping up to the federal thresholds, and I will caution, those thresholds change. And there is talk about that number coming down, perhaps over the next, who knows when, sometime over the next couple of years with this new administration, some of the discussions around three and a half million dollars or five million dollars. So if your estate is larger than that or projected to be larger than that, then you might want to look at life insurance to offset estate taxes. Finally, legacy planning. So this could be for your children or it could be for a charity. You might have a favorite organization that you want to support and make sure that there's money available to do that. Or perhaps you have three children and you'd like to leave them each a million dollars. Life insurance is a really easy way to accomplish hitting those goals, those specific goals. So that's, that's another reason why you might want to put it in place. And I will say there are a lot of strategies around both the, the legacy planning for the family and charitable planning, incorporating life insurance that can make that process, that transition very efficient for you. So if those are items that you would like to pursue, once again, I would definitely recommend that you have a more in-depth conversation to learn about some of those different strategies to ensure that 
you're maximizing your dollars. So I hope this is helpful. As I mentioned, the, the four primary types of insurance that I usually see um, being incorporated into financial plans are for income replacement, for liquidity purposes, for estate tax offset, or for legacy planning. If you have any questions or comments on this, I would love to hear from you. Or if you have any other topics you would like me to cover, I would love to do that as well. In either case, please feel free to reach out to me at kbrown at mortonbrownfw.com. Thanks and take care.